a UBC medical school professor is sparking outrage with a social media post that appeared to condone Saturday's assassination attempt on the former U.S. president and presumptive Republican candidate in this year's presidential election, Donald Trump. I'm not a Trump supporter, but uh, I also don't respect violence like this, so in, in some sense, I'm, I'm glad he's okay. In the hours after the chaos at Trump's Pennsylvania rally, Dr. Karen Pinder took to X, formerly known as Twitter, saying, damn, so close, too bad. Another user commented on her post, to which Pinder responded, what a glorious day this could have been. So it's one thing is free speech, but uh, the, the idea that you can just spout off anything without any repercussions, I think is, you know, a lot of people are learning the hard way that, you know, you can have an opinion, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's right. In a statement to City News, the University of British Columbia said, the university is aware of Dr. Pinder's post and is looking into the matter. The university does not condone violence of any kind. Hamish Telford, an associate professor of political science at the University of the Fraser Valley says he believes it's never right to celebrate violence, regardless of how much a political figure is disliked. Political violence and, and violence generally, um, you know, outside perhaps the context of legitimate war uh, is, is never to be uh, condoned, it's always to be condemned. While politically motivated violence against Canadian officials is relatively rare, Telford says they are still at risk, noting that there have been a number of death threats and acts of vandalism against them in recent years, which include an incident in 2020 when a man attempted a citizen's arrest on NDP leader Jagmeet Singh. And as the political climate in BC heats up with stark political divides on topics like drug legalization and sexual education in schools causing tensions ahead of this fall's provincial election, Telford says the attempt made on Trump's life proves Canada has to remain vigilant and stand on guard against political violence. The United States is a real outlier, outlier in terms of gun ownership. Uh, it's way off the scale. But if you remove the United States, the next outlier in terms of gun ownership is Canada. Telford says he can't say what the consequences of condoning political violence should be. However, he suggests social media users take the time to pause and reflect before commenting on sharing opinions on controversial topics. There was hardly a pause to sort of digest what had happened, no pause to get facts. Pinder has since deleted her account on X. In Vancouver, Lauren Stallone, City News.